one thing that we love about Nola. Her chill game is so hard. I mean, absolutely incredible to say she's such an active, powerful, stubborn puppy. Her chill game is awesome. Don't you mess with that ring sign, girl. You gotta let the people know that it's protected by ring around here. Anyway, y'all, uh, this is what I love about her. And this is what you should look for in a true American bully, y'all. I just wanna say this. This is what you should look for in a true American bully. A dog that can chill inside and outside. A dog that can ride with you. A dog that can walk with you. A dog that can be your true companion. That is the definition of an American bully. That was the reason for his whole design. A companion dog. A group of working dogs put together to make the ultimate companion dog. And that is what us true bully owners have. You know, true American bully owners have. An all around great companion dog. They could play with other dogs. They could um, play with children. They could play with adults. They could. Uh, chill on the couch, which can chill on the floor in the house, which can chill on the bed in the house, whatever you want them to do, you know, which, which can get at something outside, you know, when you want them to. Like if something come in the yard over here, a cat, a dog, anything, I have to take no out to leave, be like, go get it, no, no, run it straight at at seven months, you know. American Bully is an all around companion dog that can do many things. They can work, they can chase unwanted animals away, they can do so many things. But you have to have a true American Bully. Not one of them things that resembles a dog, but there's not a dog. You know, like uh, my boy said one time, a true bully or a dog, anything, that's a dog should be able to do more than get in and out of a cage where somebody has to put them in and out of the cage, really, you know? So if your dog can't do no more than be put in and out of a cage and carried around and wheeled around in the wagon. Lord, I don't know what in the world that y'all pay for. But my dog need to be able to play, need to be able to run, need to be able to chase some things off, whether it be a dog, a cat, a squirrel, a bird, a person I don't want in the yard, it needs to be able to do something. And no matter what it is, Nola trying to get it. It don't matter, it's a bug to an elephant, she's at it, you know. Sometimes she just want to play, you know. If it's a dog or something, she just want to play. Until the dog gets aggressive. I'd have seen him playing before with a pit. And the pit started getting aggressive with Nola. And Nola was uh, probably about three months at the time. So the pit was uh, six months. Yeah, and Nola started doing stuff with her head and moving the dog around and pushing the dog. You know, we didn't let them do nothing, you know. We just uh, let them play and see how they was reacting, you know. But the guy was like, man, ooh, I like that in her. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. And I didn't uh, really think that was in her like that, you know, because she had no fear of this older pit bull which was bigger than her at that time, but now she, she's way bigger than uh, Diamond. Yeah, Diamond the dog, man. She's way bigger than Diamond. Man, and I can believe it. When I took Lola around and I seen how big she was over Diamond. Yeah.
Yeah, I couldn't believe it, nigga. And the guy was like, yeah, she's a bullet. That's a pit. She's going to be big. And I was like, man, at age, though, I remember when, he was like, it don't matter. And even though she's older than Nola, and Nola was way smaller than her, because when I think I first met the dog, he was saying it was about the same age as Nola, and Nola was two months at that time. And he went and got her, and she was so much bigger than Nola. So we came to the conclusion that your dog got to be way more than two months, you know what I'm saying? But we figured out that it was uh, two months older than Nola at that time. But uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pit. But Nola, like I say, she's an all-around dog. No fear, no nothing. Like that in her. Oh, let me stop lying. Let me stop lying. <sighs> because when them gunshots start going off, my baby start looking like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? It's your time to protect us or something. Because, man, we be outside, and sometimes they act a fool out here. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes they act a fool. And Nola does not like them multiple rounds. She like Jewel. I'd rather hear it on TV than to see it in person. <laughs> but uh, y'all have a great and wonderful day. And remember, your American bully should be able to do something. Especially more to get in and out of a cage. And have to be put in and out of a cage. Come on, real dogs, real bullies, real companion dogs. Y'all be good.